Hi everybody, today we are going to finally figure out what's going on with our Cobalt Blue Tarantula. If you remember, he started as a sling. We saw him a fair amount during the first few weeks we had him. He was moved from his small sling habitat to his next size up habitat. Not his permanent one, but it's a transitional size we like to use before we get them into their bigger habitats. Many times I thought he was croaked, definitely a pet hole. And then two or three different occasions, I actually saw him sitting out or peering out the top of his web funnel. I have a little bit of video footage of it, but mostly, actually, you know, the good footage is in my mind because I got a good angle at it when I first saw him before I could grab the camera. But he's alive, or he was. It's easily been three months, maybe almost four, since I've seen any activity from him. He gets crickets, he gets water. And for all I know, we are feeding nothing. The one thing I do need to point out is that when we did see him months ago, he was way too small. He should have been a lot larger than he was. Something was wrong with him. He wasn't growing. He was sickly. And then he turned green and croaked on me, apparently. So today we're going to extricate his carcass from wherever it is hiding. Now, he still might be alive. We got to be careful. We're going to dig him out. And we'll see what happens. We have dug out camel spiders before, and we found out after months they were still alive. In this case, I am fairly confident he is no longer alive, but just in case, we're going to take precautions. A cobalt blue tarantula can be very fast. I mean, not if he's, you know, turning green and croaking, but they can be very fast and they can be aggressive. So number one, we're going to keep him at tongs length. And number two, we got to make sure he does not escape. Then again, if he can't live in this luxurious environment I gave him, if he's out and about in a house, I'm sure he will definitely grow quick. So escaping is not one of the major issues here. Maybe getting bit or accidentally hurting him if he's still alive. There, we got to be careful. So as you can see, we're digging out his web funnel. There is a molt. At least I think it's a molt. So inside this glob of web, there might be a molt or there might be something in there. It definitely is not alive. We're going to set that aside in a sealed container, and we will go back and take a look at that when we get a chance. But certainly whatever's in there is not alive. There would have been some movement or something. And just for good measure, we're going to sort through the substrate to make sure nothing weird is going on down there. We're going to be gentle in case he's alive. Remember, we have done that with camel spiders a couple different times where they would dig in for months at a time you'd think they're dead you're going to dig them out and they were still alive so you got to be careful especially when you're using tongs some people prefer to use plastic tongs they don't have the gripping action that a metal tong has metal is a little more unforgiving against the spiders that you're dealing with but they are much more precise so for your own protection i prefer metal tongs and as you can see here, there's nothing else alive and well in this habitat except for a couple of these little black beetles. I don't know, they were either wax worms or mealworms or something. I don't recall which is which, but one turns into a tiny moth, the other turns into a little black beetle. I'm not sure which. Either way, the food is all that is left alive in this habitat. That's it for today. I'll keep you updated. Maybe we'll find a carcass in there. Maybe we'll just find molts. Maybe he just disappeared. Or maybe it's not a molt. Maybe it's what left after these two beetles ate him. Yeah, I don't know. Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.